first song I'm gonna do is called My Favorite Things. Thanks. My Favorite Things Thanks. with an S. Thanks. My Favorite Things. You're playing first? Thanks. Yeah, I'm probably, when, when you intro, I'm just gonna start playing. Okay. It's actually called My Favorite Right Thing. My Favorite Things. My Favorite Right. Favorite right thing. My favorite right thing. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could please have your attention, we're going to go ahead and get tonight's show started. On behalf of Grinder House Coffee, we want to say welcome. Uh, tonight's event is called Ground in the Round. A show of hands, has anyone been to a Ground in the Round here before? All right. So you know they have a very special event going on where it's more of a listening room environment so you can hear the lyrics to the songs. They'll tell some stories of of how the song was written and what it's about. Uh, we will ask you to please keep your table conversations down, and also, if you haven't already, to silence your cell phone. So, to my immediate right here is Mr. Ethan Phillips. Can we give him a warm welcome, please? And then to my far right, we have Mr. Jamie Adamson. Let him know. I think, I think he's, he's going to start, start off with a song telling you a little bit about his favorite things. I like kittens and puppies, big colorful rainbows, all kinds of ice cream from sugar to dreamsicle, I like singing in the morning, whistling while I'm working, a little dancing after dinner. It's a habit. I'm quirky, I'm really in all sorts of stuff Like picking out a tune just for fun This is my list of my favorite things My collectible treasures all here in one place Some I make for sharing, some I have too much Some I just give away, you can never give too much It's like handing out money but you're handing out love. My favorite thing. I all forgot how to play it, I guess. Well, I've heard, oh, but does it? Jesus showed her how. Smiles and happy faces, they stand out in a crowd. Natural verses make up. On any given day, leftovers for dinner, get some easy that way. I'm really in all sorts of stuff. Like long walks on the beach and making time for making up. This is my list of my favorite things, my collectible treasures, all here in one place. Some make for share, some I have too much. Some I just give away, you can never give too much. It's like handing out money, but you're handing out love. My favorite thing, my favorite thing. This is my list of my favorite things, my collectible treasures, all here in one place. Some ain't for sure. Some I have too much. Some I just give away, and you can never give too much. It's like handing out money, but you're handing out love. 
My favorite thing My favorite thing My favorite thing Man, I figured I would be okay just diving in and playing. I didn't get my ears adjusted or nothing. I just took off. But uh, normally I'll talk first for a minute and I'll kind of get my ears adjusted for a second. And uh, I was kind of figuring it out there toward the end, but that's okay. That's okay. I would like to introduce to y'all to my far left, Mr. Joe Bozzelli. He's going to be uh, basically kind of hosting tonight. I'm going to be his co-host, what I'm going to be. He's, he's Johnny Carson, and I'm Ed McMahon So tonight. <laughs> so if y'all have any questions, I'm Ed. That's Johnny. Between us here is a, a, a young fellow I met a couple years back, right, probably right after he moved to Nashville. And uh, I, I was really impressed with him. He sang real, real soft like this. He didn't sing real loud. He was just real, real soft. And over about a two-year period, now he sings about like this right here. Sometimes he gets picked it up just a little bit. I was just kidding. I was kidding. He is one of the, the I, I'm not, and, and not trying to be weird, he's one of the sweetest people I've met in Nashville since I've been back to Nashville. Super, super talented, wonderful guitar player, awesome voice and songwriter, Ethan Phillips, y'all. I appreciate it. He, he'll show y'all how to play the guitar now, so. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I just need to hire him to go everywhere with me and introduce me. That's pretty good. I'd probably make more money doing yeah. that. <laughs> I can pay you in McDoubles. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Is everybody doing all right? Good deal. Well, I only know about two songs. I usually start with one of those first, so this is the first one. I'm going to start with a tune that I wrote with my good buddy Timothy Baker. We'll start on a high note. I don't want to get too too ahead of myself. But we'll, we'll do this one first, and this is a country song about love gone wrong, I guess. A real original subject, but this is called uh, Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. Hope you all enjoy it. Back to the house after a late night out And her car wasn't in the drive Thought she was playing a joke till I saw her note When I turned on the lights Said I've had a like a sting Give you one last chance More times than you deserve And that's when I finally realized Where I went wrong with her I should have came home early I always told the truth I couldn't let her know How I felt Instead of thinking that she knew I would have listened Just a little If I knew she was gonna leave someday Guess I should have Could have would have And she would have had a reason to stay I ought to be ashamed And I can't complain Cause I know it's my fault Every time she swore she was out the door I took it with a grain of salt I thought, pet, no mind Just give it some time Our problems will disappear But she did instead Now I'm filling my head With what would have kept her here Should have came home early And always told the truth I couldn't let her know how I felt instead of thinking that she knew I would have listened just a little If I knew she was gonna leave someday Guess I should have, could have, would have That she would have had a reason to stay Always told the truth Couldn't let her know How I felt Instead of thinking that she knew I wouldn't listen just a little If I knew she was gonna leave some I Guess I shoulda, coulda, woulda Then she woulda had a reason to stay I wouldn't listen just a little 
Find her she was gonna lay something. Guess I should have could order that she would have had a reason. Should have could order then she would have had a reason. Should have could order that she would have had a reason to stay. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. I have a quick question for you, Ethan. Um, well, to I didn't me, study. to me, that song, the, the riff is just as catchy as the lyrics. Oh, well, I appreciate so I, I was curious when you were writing it, which came first? Did you do the lyrics first or the riff first, or did they both come at the same time? About the same time. I just had the title for a long, good long while. My buddy Timothy, he's just a phenomenal melody guy and, and uh, stuff like that. And I just wanted kind of a honky tonk kind of. 90s country song kind of feel, and that's just kind of what came out. Nice. What'd you guys think of that one? Good? All right. Thank y'all. See now? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to start with the low ones. Yeah. Try to build up. Well, I guess it's back to me now. It makes me feel no. terrible. That was, a, that was awesome, though, Mr. Ethan Phillips. No, likewise. Man, I sat down here a while back. And uh, I put this song on. I put this song on social media for the world to see. Nobody really looks at much of that stuff on my page, but my parents, man, my dad's probably watching. I don't know if my mom is watching right now or not. But for years, I grew up watching Gunsmoke. They watch Gunsmoke every evening that rolls around. Matt Dillon and Festus Hagen. I mean, it's a, uh, it's 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 a world I love living in. I love Matt Dillon myself. But uh, I sat down here a while back and I had this idea. This song kind of came out. And it was kind of bubbling around. And the more it kind of shaped itself out, it just, uh, I feel like it's, uh, the, it's, it's the ballad of Matt Dillon is what I call it. But uh, it's called Make Me Famous. For the scars you left on me, but I'll make you hate it. I simply call some scars run deep, then I'll make you wonder how the hell you bullet miss me, and I'll never ever let you live in peace. I'll call you out. For all the bad you're worth, I'll make it known. In heaven as it is on earth, I'll make you big, big, big. For the little man you are, you're going to reap, reap, reap what you're sowing. Between the sunset and the morning, you'll come to know. To the man that hunts you down But before the sun sets It'll be a dawning Of all the ghosts You laid in the ground But before the sun sets I'll make me famous all oh, for the sake of justice, and I'll leave you nameless. It'll issue you from amongst us. I'll offer mercy, mercy, mercy. You decide if you partake. Well, then a single shot you hear will be the last breath that you take. Between the sunset. And the morning You'll come to know The man that hunts you down But before the sun sets There'll be a dawning Of all the ghosts You laid in the ground But before the sun sets I'll make me 
famous I'll make me famous I'll make me famous. Sorry about that, Andy. Yeah. Man, thank you. That's the first time I've played that out anywhere, so I'm still trying to figure that one out a little bit. Thank you all very much. I'm going to slide it back over to Ethan here. Oh. I'm going to try a song that I hadn't played in a really long time. I wrote... I moved, uh, I'm originally from Northeast Georgia, and I moved to Nashville in January of 2020, just in time for the world to shut down, <laughs> and a tornado, and all kind of crazy stuff. I think I might have brought it with me, I don't know, but I, don't tell too many people, because I don't want to kick me out, but this is a, but I uh, wrote this next song with a buddy of mine, uh, Mr. Jonathan Brooks, and uh and it, it was just kind of, I think it was in the middle of COVID that we wrote this song, and I was just kind of inspired about seeing all the tough times everybody was going through. And, you know, my mom always said to be optimistic about things and look at the bright side and even the worst of situations, and sometimes that's hard to do, I guess. But this is uh, my attempt at that, I guess. This is called Hard Times. Lost my job a month ago last Tuesday But the bank don't care and bills keep coming in the Work went south along with the factory Hoping to pick up some odd jobs to meet in The road ahead may look a little dark Forgot the words of song of my worst days. Just when it seems it's all falling apart, that's it. It's when you see that it's falling into place. If it wasn't for the hard times, barely getting by, when well, life don't go as planned, if it wasn't for the bad luck, nearly giving up, when you're dealt to lose and hang. You never know just what you're made of So be thankful for them too If it wasn't for the hard times You'd never find the best of you well, She's my hope And she stuck right beside me For better or for worse Is what we found Never married you for money Our love pulled us through back then And I have faith that it will now If it wasn't for the hard times Barely getting by When well, life don't go as planned If it wasn't for the bad luck Nearly giving up When you're dealt to lose in hand You never know just what you're made of So be thankful for them too if it wasn't for the hard times, never find the best of you. This world will push you to your knees and it'll force you to be tough. The question's not we you get knocked down. It's how would you learn to get back up? If it wasn't for the hard times, barely getting by. When life don't go as planned, if it wasn't for the bad luck, nearly giving up. When you're dealt to lose in hand, you never know just what you're made of. So be thankful for them too. If it wasn't for the hard times, never find the best of you. If it wasn't for the hard times. 
Thank you all. I even confused myself. I forgot the words. I shouldn't have. Well, with songs like that. We ain't like, had a whole lot of sleep in the past couple of days. <laughs> and I know you ain't had much in the last week, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. I was just going to say with songs like that, it's neat to know that there's probably somebody out there that can hear that and be really affected by it yeah. and you know, bring them comfort in a time when they need it. So yeah. thanks for writing that. Oh, I appreciate it. It's beautiful. Thank you. You, did, you, didn't, you didn't play that last night, did you? No. I, I didn't play that in a long time. I, don't know that that. I think I played that out one time, and it showed. <laughs> well, these first couple I've done tonight has showed that, too. Um, no. Kind of like, uh, but, you know, you, you got you to gotta play stuff somewhere. And, uh, you got to try it out. Yeah, I think new songs is cool to hear, too. And uh, so, but uh, this next song, I know I've played it here a few times. Some of y'all have heard it. Some of y'all may have not. But uh, I wrote this with Hal O'Dell. It's kind of like the third time I wrote it. It was the time that it worked. But uh, I think I'm fixing to record this. So hopefully come summertime, it'll be out. It's called See Where This Goes. Like the Omolu and Barney Fife, kisses sweet and black and white. June and Johnny Cash burned up by radio. Hey, ain't it magic on that silver screen? Now the hero finds a perfect queen. They go chasing forever like they don't know about Juliet's and Romeo's. Yeah, I want to see where this goes. Don't want to see how it ends. You wanna say everything and I know I know that she thinks we just met but she don't know Yeah I'll keep trying to tell her Somewhere between your shoulder nights and that first kiss that kiss good night I gotta taste you just how sweet sweet might be Yeah love can bloom and you ain't looking It don't care about sure should it ain't waiting for the perfect time to fall I want to see where this goes I want to see how it ends You want to say everything And I know, I know that she thinks we just met But she don't know Yeah, I'll keep trying to tell her Until I close my eyes and this love story ends I want to see where this goes you turn and corners that you've been for me this girl's a book I want to read again and again and again mm, I want to see where this goes don't want to see how it ends you want to see everything and I know I know that she thinks we just met but she don't know yeah I'll keep trying to tell her until I close my eyes and this love story ends Until I close my eyes and this love story ends yeah. mm, I want to see where this goes I want to see where this goes yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much uh, Jamie, I'm, I'm actually a big fan of Hal Odell's, too. The fun part for me with that was picking out which lines came from which one of you guys. We'd have to sit down and talk about that. Okay, no, I was just, I was trying to yeah. pick out what I oh, thought okay. what you guys yeah. did. Yeah, what It'll a great... It'll be interesting, because that, that song, had I, I really did, I wrote it twice, and it never, never just locked. And I wrote it about my wife, uh -huh. but there was just places in it, and Hal helped me. How he'll make it smoothed out. Yeah, he's yeah. a he's a great writer. Yeah. And yeah. I can hear a little bit of you and a little bit of him in that. Oh one. yeah. So yeah. I like yeah. that. So Ethan, what you gonna play for us next? Good question. Good question. 
I only said I know two songs. I just played both of them. <laughs> just stretch out the rest of them. And I even forgot the words on the second one. <laughs> I ain't doing too good. Yeah. Uh, I'll do this one. I'm. Uh, this is a fairly new song, but I've just really come to love it lately. It's a pretty simple song. Uh, I wrote this with my buddy Sam Banks, who is a phenomenal singer and picker and writer in Nashville. And uh, and he, this is the first song we ever wrote together. And uh, he, he came with this idea, and he had the guitar lick and all that stuff. And um, he, he had a different direction in mind for it, but um, as soon as he just told me the title of it, I don't know if it was just a wave of homesickness that had hit me because I'd been away from about two years at that point and uh i and you got to understand i was the kid that when i went away from home for sleepover when i was growing up i would call in the middle of the night and go home and so <laughs> when i told mom i was going to move 500 miles away from home she didn't picture that lasting too long so anyway we uh his dad did tell me yesterday he, i didn't expect him to stay <laughs> yeah now they're just trying to get me to move back. Yeah. But they, uh, he, he, he had told me that he had the title, uh, it doesn't take much, it don't take much anymore. And, you know, he had a different direction in mind, but as soon as he said that, I don't know what it was. I guess it was just being homesick. And uh, I've noticed since I have been away from home, I've always been a people person and everything and tried to talk, call and check on folks, but uh, it just became far more important to me to call and check on people that I hadn't seen in a while. I just got to missing folks. And uh, two, just things that I didn't seem so important to me at the time have just become a lot more important to me. Um, I mean, from, from family to, not that I, family's always been important to me, family and just little things that I'd taken for granted that they would always be around. And uh, just my faith has become a lot stronger too, I feel like, since I have moved. And uh, this is just a song that kind of talks about that. This is called Don't Take Much Anymore. No, I don't need nothing. Just had to hear your voice again. It's been so long since I've been home. Missing you how you've been Lately I'm starting to find Checking in It ain't so much of a chore It don't take much anymore I'm finding out Just how fast Days go by And years fly past in a moment, life can change before your eyes. Call it sentimental, call it age, but I finally landed in a place where I don't take for granted all the things I'm thankful for. It don't take much anymore. I've been thinking I won't be here forever So I make more time Getting myself right And my heart and soul together I hit my knees Yeah, I believe I'm praying like I never had before Lord, it don't take much anymore Cause I'm finding out just how fast Days go by and years fly past In a moment life can change before your eyes Call it sentimental, call it age But I finally landed in a place Where I don't take for granted All the things I'm thankful for take much anymore Oh, to make me stop And take it in All the little things That I never did Cause I'm finding out Just how fast 
Days go by and years fly past. In a moment, life can change before your eyes. Call it sentimental, call it age, but I finally landed in a place where I don't take for granted all the things I'm thankful for. I don't take for granted all the things I'm thankful for. It don't take much anymore. It don't take much anymore. Yeah. Wow. What a beautiful song. Um, I don't know Tim McGraw, but if I did, I would give him that song. I feel like that song could be done by somebody really big. Great job, well, man. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. like that. Thank you. Man. So, so y'all, I haven't got to really just introduce Joe Bazzelli, but uh, yeah. Joe, where are you from, man? Originally born and raised in a town of New Melly, Missouri, town of about 485 people. Wow. Does everybody's voice sound that cool? No, no. <laughs> I, got, I got the voice from my dad and the ability to use it from my mom. So oh, okay. But okay. My dad can't sing at all, but my mom can. I got you. So you later on, are you going to sing a song or two for us, right? I would be honored. Okay, because you're going to do one that we wrote, right? I would that's love a, That's a requirement. Absolutely. <laughs> Done. I let Ethan slide because <laughs> Ethan don't have to sing anything that we wrote because we've only wrote like one or two, I think. I think so. But uh, I think we're at one and a half now. Yeah, we're at one and a half, I think. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. I, I uh, so where you where you grew up? You uh, were you a mama's boy or a daddy's boy? I was more. I was kind of both more of a mama's boy for more sure. More of a mama's yep. boy. What we, about you, Ethan? Probably mama's boy. Mama's boy. Man. Yeah. So, so I guess I'm the daddy's boy tonight. But uh, how many daddy's boys are in here? Y'all raise raise up a hand. Daddy's girl. <laughs> daddy's girl. Okay. Well, my, my dad, I love my mom, don't get me wrong, but I, I cling to my dad when I was a kid, man. He would, uh, I still remember him going to work and me pulling on his leg, especially when he worked the evening shift in the evenings, because that's when I would, I would, uh, I'd be wanting to play. But um, this next song I'm going to do, I'm actually going to record it too. I've had everybody since I've been in town tell me I should, and I haven't. But uh, Like My Daddy Done is a song, I, another one I wrote by myself probably about four or five years ago. And it's about my dad, a bunch of my friends as I was growing up. I'm sitting here trying to write this song about my dad and all these other friends that I grew up. The dads that stopped me from doing something stupid, it wasn't my dad. They're still, they one of these dads, you know. And there's a lot of knowledge I, I gained from all these people in this song and my grandpa, and I tried to slip it all into this one song. But uh, it's called Like My Daddy Done, and I hope you all enjoy it. Ended up in Afghanistan He was fighting for his country The red, the white, and the blue Just doing what his daddy done He said he'd take a drive down a back road Just to see what he might find Cause he, he never take advantage Of what another man leaves behind you always plan your exits, boy, and you'll never be last in line. You'll do it like my daddy done. My daddy laid brick down in Alabama. You know he fished that dog river dry. Breached down fire and brownstones that a man shouldn't be afraid to cry. Said every woman on God's green earth deserves to know real love. My grandpa told me that when I was about six, seven years old, sitting on a log on Pearl River in Mississippi, in Philadelphia, Mississippi, nudges me, says, uh, boy, 
You know, all women need love. And that was like one of the only things he ever told me that I thought was, uh, you know, like I need to remember this for some reason because he was pretty adamant about kicking me in the arm with it. So he never drank that whiskey. Just touched the rim a time or two. He said the smell of it reminded him of things he shouldn't do. He slowly slid that glass out of reach. He said there's some things a man can't teach. When my daddy laid brick down in Alabama, you know he fished that dog every drive. Breached down fire and brimstone Said a man shouldn't be afraid to cry Said every woman on God's green earth Deserves to know real love I think I'll take a drive down back road Just to see what I can find Cause you never take advantage Of what another man leaves behind you always plan your exits, boy, and you'll never be last in line. And you'll do it like my daddy done. Yeah, just like my daddy done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. The, the line about never take advantage of what another man leaves behind, that one really hit me. That's my grandpa, too. Uh, That's my grandpa, too. Man, my grandpa, y'all would have to know him. He made, uh, he made all of, uh, made a bunch of sticks for Buford Pusser, uh, Walking Tall. And I, I have one at home, too. It's pretty cool. Hickory stick. But uh, my grandpa, man, he'd be driving down the road. It didn't matter what it was. If it was laying on the side of the road and it had fell off or something, it was my grandpa's. <laughs> he was going in the back of the truck or in the floorboard or wherever it would fit. Dash, it didn't matter. I mean, he'd pick it up. But he made he made everything that could be made. You know, it was just one of them things. He was one of them people. But He's a pickup man. He was a definite show enough pickup man. Herman Ferguson, here's to you, my brother. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that song. Such a good song. Thank you, sir. Me and Jamie have been traveling all over from Nashville to Pigeon Forge in the past couple of days. And back. And back, going back tonight. He showed up to the, my house yesterday in a Prius. And I, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. I mean, I just had this stereotype of Priuses. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy. And when he showed up in that, I was like, this ain't going to be too good. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be a long be trip. Rough. Yeah, it'll be a long trip. I tell you what, he made a believer out of me. Those things are pretty roomy. They're pretty, and, and, and they get good gas mods. So, this round is sponsored by Prius tonight. It sure was. It sure was last night too. It was last night too. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. We might tell y'all later. <laughs> but uh. No, all that to say, though, I'm, I'm sure thankful for Jamie. He's a great guy and such a great singer and songwriter. I'm, I'm sure thankful for his friendship. And, uh, Same here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one that this is kind of what got me started songwriting. Seriously, I guess. I had fooled around with the idea of it in high school and stuff, but I really didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, really. But this, this was uh, the first song that I felt like was something, I guess. And I had dated a girl... Uh, in high school whose name was Grace, her middle name was Grace, and um, just kind of, and I'd gone to church with her one Sunday, her and her family, and uh, I just got the the idea from just sitting there with her at that, and it's partly true, partly exaggerated, but I guess that's what makes a good story, but this is uh, about, a, I wrote this with my dear friends Mark Jones and Joe Kilby, and uh, back, at, back in Georgia, and they were really mentors to me as far as songwriters go and they, they just kind of took me in and, and really showed me the ropes and I, I'm sure thankful for them and this is the first song we wrote and it kind of just fell out of the sky but it was definitely a, 
a gift from God, I believe. But this is a uh, about a guy that kind of plays church to see a girl whose name is Grace. And in doing so, he finds a little bit more grace than he intended to. Uh, this is called Saved by Grace. Hope you all enjoy it. Preacher man in the pulpit, delivering the word. I'd be sitting in the back row, staring at her. Blonde hair and blue eyes, Grace was her name. I hate to admit it, but her smile kept me coming back each Sunday. God knew what he was doing when he brought her to me. And every day I thank him cause without her where would I be? She's the reason that I pray and the strength behind my faith I was saved by grace Well that was twenty years ago Yet it seems like yesterday We were married in that church From the love that heaven made She's been a rock when I have needed And a lot along the way An angel here on earth More than I deserve Between Jesus and Saved by grace God knew what he was doing When he brought her to me And every day I thank him Cause without her where would I be the reason that I pray and the strength behind my faith I was saved by grace saved by grace saved by grace saved by grace That's my favorite one you do. That's the first one I ever heard you do, too. But that's just my favorite one. I appreciate it. That low down there. Yeah, low. Man. So, so I sat down here a while back, and uh, some of y'all probably heard this, some of y'all may not. And uh, But uh, I hope there's more that have not. I hope there's some that have. So it's like that. But... Uh, Wrote this song with Ralston Wells and, and uh, Hal O'Dell and, and Johnny Cook. I call him Johnny Cool. I always have to slow down when I say that. But uh, it's called Tennessee Made. 
and we finna record it too. So I'm just, I'm just trying to do the songs we finna record for a few minutes so y'all can kind of hear them. Been working on them. But uh, this is about, to me, the story behind this song, the reason we wrote it, I normally don't tell the whole story, but I moved to Tennessee. I'm from Alabama. I'm from South Alabama. You know, I think everybody setting up here tonight is not from Tennessee. I'm correct in saying that. I know he's from Georgia. I don't know where y'all are from. Where y'all from? Okay, see, y'all ain't, but y'all moved to Tennessee. So there's a lot of transplants to Tennessee. Tennessee will change you. N New York? Okay. Anybody else out there want to shout out where they at? Cali. Colorado. <laughs> Georgia. See, Ethan's oh, from Georgia. Hey. We, got, we got some people in anybody, just by chance, is there anybody from Mississippi in here? I think the real question. I'm kind of half right. from there. I'll raise my hand. I'm from Alabama and Mississippi, y'all. Y'all give me a hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I got a double dose of it. My mama's redneck. My daddy was too. So, but uh, so Tennessee made you moved to Tennessee, man. I've been here. Uh, Joe asked me earlier. You've been here like nine years or something like that. Was it eight, seven, like 28, 29? You want to add 20 to it? So. I've been here for a long time. It, it changed me, made me different. Um, I talk different than I used to. I used to really have what I call a redneck little draw. You can listen to some stuff way back, and I had it. But singing took a lot of it out of me. And uh, So Tennessee kind of made me. I'm Tennessee made. I, from, from, from the top of my head to the sole of my feet, it changed me. And uh, that's what this song's about. So. Moonshine and moon pies, Bill Street and the blues. The best drinking whiskey, three chords and the truth. That grand old Opry and that old rhyme on stage. I tell you, the best things in life, Lord, they're Tennessee made. From the mighty Mississippi to the Gatlinburg Hills, big cities and neons, farm towns and fields, we come together as a volunteer state. Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made. Dolly and honky tonk, six strings and songs. Graceland and Rocky Top and the Tennessee Walls. That music road magic and hearing that twang. Lord, the best things in life, yeah, they Tennessee made. From the mighty Mississippi to the Gatlinburg Hills, big cities and neons. Farm towns and fields, we come together as a volunteer state. Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made. From my family and friends, living wild, living free. Lord, we're made in Tennessee. From the mighty Mississippi to the Gatlinburg Hills, big cities, big neon, farm towns and fields, we come together as a volunteer state. Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made. Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hopefully by the end of the summer you can, people, we was talking about this earlier, people don't play CDs anymore, but I'm going to have some with it on it. If you have a car with a CD player in it, which those are becoming ancient, I hear, like the antiques, but uh, you can still buy a CD player at Walmart, so I have one. 
So by the end of the summer, hopefully y'all can play that if you're into it. So, Ethan, what you going to play for us? I'm going to try a song that I, honest to goodness, never, I maybe have played twice. Let's but we're going we're gonna to try it. I'm just going to, well, you might want to hold your applause to us over with. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I, I like goofy songs. I love, um, I love Brad Paisley and Roger Miller and all those guys. So I, I like uh, just lighthearted stuff. Well, my, my, have y'all ever seen the show Justified? Anybody ever watch that show? Yeah. I love that show. Well, Raylan, the the lead character in that show, always refers to the the No Tell Motel as the place where all the people do all the sketchy activity. I guess. And you know, if you're from any town, you've probably noticed there's always this one sleazy motel that's always in business. And you don't know how it's still around after all these years. Yeah. Exactly. So me and, me and uh, my roommate, I turned him on to Justified, and we were watching it one night, and Raylan said that. And I just looked at him, and I said, that would be a cool song. So this is called the No-Tell Motel. This is in tribute of all the sketchy motels in the world. And this is about as close to rapping as I can get. So... I can't promise you I'm gonna be able to sing all this. There's a lot of words in this, so we're gonna we'll, we'll try it though. <clears throat> My roommate recorded this song and he's putting it out, and he does it an awful lot better than I do it. But we'll try it. We wrote it with oh, also we wrote it with our friend S.J. McDonald, who is a phenomenal singer songwriter in her own right. But here we go. This is No Tell Motel. You can find us off I-75 We've been open for business since 69 A lot of dirt's been tracked down through these halls And I've been here to see it all Yeah, we've changed hands more times to count Even the mayor's wife tried to shut us down But it's honest work, it's tried and true Yeah, we're pretty dang good at what we do At the no till move till There's always vacancy, satisfaction guarantee Go ahead, help Yourself to complimentary confidentiality If you got the cash and we got your back Never been here if anybody asks at the no-tell motel Well, them high-rise hotels sure are nice But if you ask me, they ain't worth the price We got a running sale on a sweetheart suite a heart-shaped tub and the rosés for free Yeah, rumor has it We're the talk of the town Locals love to hate us Run our name in the ground Same people pointing fingers Putting on a show Or paying the bills And stripping their clothes At the no tell mo tell There's always vacancy Satisfaction guarantee Go ahead, help yourself To complimentary confidentiality if you got the cash and we got your back, you never been here if anybody asks at the no tell mo tell. That's it, y'all catching on. probably sing that with us if you want to. We just give you the keys to the door. It's our business to stay out of yours. No tell, mo tell. There you go. No tell, mo tell. Y'all come on down louder. to the no tell, mo tell. There's always vacancy, satisfaction guarantee. Go ahead, help yourself to complimentary confidentiality if you got the cash and we got you back you never been here if anybody asks at the no tell mo tell more time no tell mo tell well y'all come on back now you hear Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, y'all are pretty good. We just need to hire y'all to just follow me around and do that. Man, so you've hired me to follow you around. Yeah. Now you're trying to hire. How much money We're do all going to be. There's a blue Prius if we can all fit in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
But bus calls at nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back to Nashville. Yeah. Back so y'all would y'all be interested in hearing Joe Bazzelli sing a couple songs for y'all? Yeah. Y'all give Joe Bazzelli a big hand. I'm gonna give him my guitar while y'all do that. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being so attentive because for every song you hear up here, there's probably 10 or 50 songs that you don't hear. So it's very kind of you to listen and be a part of this. I'm trying to figure out what ca fret I got a cape I wanted to get into what my you tune. Standard, right? I had it in standard. Oh, it's standard. Perfect. I had it, in, I had it on three, it's standard. Okay, so it is half, uh, two and a half steps down? Step half down. This third fret, half. third fret near in standard. Okay, so three frets. I can do that. Yeah. So I went to write for the first time with Jamie Adamson. And he, uh, I'd never met him before, real, except for one time. And uh, stalked me. he said, uh, he stalked me, y'all. Huh? Yeah. I did. I said, I'm going to keep introducing myself to you until we write together. <laughs> And he came up with this idea. He said he had this idea about a song about a pirate. And I never told you this, but at first I was like, what? What are we going to write about? I was like, really? You want to write a song about a pirate? Okay. So I was a little skeptical at first. Turns out I absolutely love it. It's a song about a pirate who gets a craving for a cold beer. And he leaves his island to go get one, but his boat sinks. Met a pirate said he lived on an island Told me most folks call him Jake He had a two-eyed monkey A four-legged dog And a fangless old fat rattlesnake Since he settled there He'd never left Till the day I found him floating on a log It was a hot one In the hot sun And he looked like he could use a cold one He swam up a river Paddled down a stream, boat sank in some water about a hundred leagues deep. And then he ended up floating on a single man log with no room for nothing except the cooler and the dog. <laughs> See why I was a little skeptical at first? Because what do you do with the song about a pirate? I threw him out of line, he threw it back. I offered him a lift and he laughed. He said, I'm not sure what you're thinking, but I'll take a little bit of what you're drinking. He swam up a river, paddled down a stream, boat sank in some water about a hundred leagues deep. And then he ended up floating on a single man log with no room for nothing except the cooler and the dog. I tied a long neck to a fishing pole Cast it out about as far as it'd go Before the battle hit the water The monkey in the cooler jumped and caught it He swam up a river Paddled down a stream Boat sank in some water About a hundred leagues deep And he ended up floating On a single man log With no room for nothing Except the cooler and the dog With no room for nothing except the cooler and the dog. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Joe Bazzelli, y'all. Give it up for him. That was cool. You know who you sound, kind of sound like to me? Jamie Adamson. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Have you ever listened to Hoyt Axon? Uh, no, I haven't. Maybe I you should. Kinda, you kind of sound like him. You need to listen to I think Dale. he's my cousin. Is he? Okay. Well, I believe it. That was cool. <laughs> well, y'all having a good time so far? We have, we having a good time. Well, we're about to put a stop to that right now. <laughs> <clears throat> nah. I'm going to, uh, I've never recorded any music, but I'm planning on trying to do change that here shortly and go in and cut a few songs that I like. So I'm going to, I've tried a couple of them out on y'all already, but I'm going to probably do this one. 
I'm, I love sad country music. I don't know about y'all. I miss sad country songs. Everybody, nobody acts like they're sad anymore. And if you, if you, if you looked at what I listen to all on a regular basis, you would think I was the most depressed person in the world. But I just love it. Love sad songs. So, uh, the life of a song, I guess, is a funny thing. Some of them kind of just fall out of the sky, and some of them it feels like you got to bleed for them. But uh, this one was one that we definitely about drained all of our blood on, I feel like. But we stuck, me and I wrote this with my roommate and good friend Justin Dukes and Jarrett Harkness. And we wrote it a year ago, January of 2021. And I loved the music. And I loved the idea. We were just kind of sitting around. We were going to write and didn't have any ideas. And Justin told a story. And he, said, and he was trying to be funny, but nobody got it. And he, and he laughed, and we didn't laugh. And he said, I guess you just had to be there. And as soon as he said that, we just all kind of looked at each other. And uh, that'd be a cool song. And so we, we wrote the whole song, but it, just to be honest with you, it sucked. It was terrible. But uh, so I, I worked on it on my own and, and, fi and finally pestered Justin enough to get back and work on it some more. And the three of us finally landed on this. And I, I, I like the way it turned out. But this is just a, a sad country song. This is uh, called You Just Had to Be There. Seaport sunrise on the coast of Maine A home run in Boston at a Red Sox game Route 66 cross country drive Stars dancing with the northern lights Kind of things words can't describe Cause you just had to be there you just had to see it for yourself Cause pictures can't begin to paint Or tell the way it felt To find a memory in every scene It's almost like you followed me Everywhere I swear, girl, it ain't fair You just had to be there Tried moving on, made a brand new start But my mind could only drift so far I thought a thousand miles away I could find a place to escape You would give this heart a break But you just had to be there you just had to see it for yourself These pictures can't begin to paint Tell the way it felt Find a memory in every scene It's almost like you followed me Everywhere I swear, girl, it ain't fair You just had to be there Every time I turn my head North, south, east, or west You made sure I can't forget Cause you just had to be there You just had to see it for yourself Cause pictures can't begin to paint Tell the way it felt Find a memory in every scene It's almost like you followed me Everywhere I swear, girl, it ain't fair You were everywhere, I swear, girl, it ain't fair You just had to be there Why'd you have to be there? Thank y'all. I'd hate to have to follow that. No. It... Oh, wait. 
Um, can we get a round of applause for Grinder House? Everybody yeah. here is super friendly. For the uh, guy, the uh, the gentleman working sound tonight's doing a fantastic job. And uh, this is just a great place. I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you for the invite. Um, I'd like to do one more for you guys. Um, it started out as kind of a, a funny song with a guy back in Missouri named Ken Hall. And uh, it evolved to... To a song I wrote about a friend of mine. Thank you very much, Miss. Appreciate that. Uh, about a, it's about a girl that I know who is a songwriter in in Nashville, and she uh, sometimes gets down on herself because things aren't moving fast enough, and she's not getting as much done as she wants to, and not as, not accomplish not accomplishing as much as she wants to. So I wanted her to know that everything was going to be fine, and that she was going to find her way. And this song's called "Find Your Way." Find your way, find your way, no matter what they say. Stumbling round, falling down, honey, that's okay. You'll find your way, find your way, but don't wait another day. Cause no one will find it for you. Sister, I implore you, the world will not ignore you. Find your way. Lost but not alone, lost but not alone. Look around, see everyone is searching for a home. Lost but not alone, lost but not alone. Someone is searching for you, and they know what you're going through. Cause they have been there too, you'll find your way. You'll find your way. You'll find your way, you'll find your way, you'll find your way, lost but not alone, it's okay not knowing, you just keep on going till you find your way. We also thought about selling it to Jeep, the all new Jeep Wrangler, find your way, so we'll see how that goes. around pick your head up off the ground you might lose it now and then but look how much you found look around look around find a smile lose a frown Cause someone is reaching for you true love will restore you the light will shine the more you find your way you'll find your way You'll find your way, you'll find your way, you'll find your way, lost but not alone, it's okay not knowing, you just keep on going till you find your way. Too kind. Thank you. Y'all yeah. really give Joe a big hand. Yeah. Thank you for thank coming you. up here, man. Appreciate and, uh, that. Sharing your voice with us. Thanks for having us. Thank you, sir. And thank y'all for the tips, too. That's awesome. Thank you. You probably just got on camera for the whole world to see this thing. You do know that, don't you? Everybody knows who you are now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll blank that whole part where you walk. We'll take it completely out. They won't nobody know. Is that okay? You see, y'all have to, I apologize. My wife has super curly hair, and she got that curly hair, don't she? Oh, it's your granddaughter? Okay. What's your name? Audrey. See, that's a pretty name, Audrey. Thank you for coming tonight. So, y'all give Audrey a big hand. <laughs> oh, man. So, Ethan, what you gonna sing for us? Uh, I'll try this one. They, uh, uh, 
They say to write about what you know, and that's always what I've tried to do, but uh, this one just seemed too good not to write about it. It was, it was, uh, we got any dads with daughters in here tonight? Any dads with daughters? A couple of them? Well, y'all will get this then. My sister got married a couple years ago, and it was one of those situations where my dad really didn't care for the guy she was dating too much. And they got married anyway. So much so that he asked for permission and dad told him no. So he thought the proper response was just to wait till the next weekend when mom and dad were out of town and do it then. <laughs> so, but they've been married a couple years. They're doing, they're doing great. Dad did everything in the world though but kill him. So as we're, as I was heading back from the wedding, I got this song idea and I brought it to my buddy Justin Dukes and Timothy Baker and we wrote this. This is for all the dads with daughters and for all the dads with shotguns. This is called Daddy with a Gun. Sixteen first date, kind of nervous. I was practicing my lines. In the mirror, I could see Daddy watching me. He said, I'll give you some advice. Seems like only yesterday I was standing where you are. Go have a good time, but keep in mind before you take things too far. The only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy with a gun. Always treat her right, cause if you make her cry, there won't be time to run. Better get her home early and leave in a hurry. In a little room for Jesus, son. Cause the only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy with a gun. My hands were shaking and my heart was racing when her dad met me on the porch. Said, leave him alone, don't run him off as she rushed through the door. He said, honey, it's my job to put the fear of God in him. My jaw fell when he threw a shotgun shell. Said they move faster after 10. The only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy with a gun. Always treat her right, cause if you make her cry, there won't be time to run. Better get her home early and leave in a hurry. A little room for Jesus, son. Cause the only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy with a gun. See, it sounds better if there's like another guitar. Better than later home early and leave in a hurry. A little room for Jesus, son. Cause the only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy the only thing worse than a daddy is a daddy with a gun. Yeah. I suspect when you have a child, if it's a daughter, it's going to be rough for the young fellow that comes to your door, ain't it? <laughs> I guess so. We'll see. I don't know. My sister loves that song. Dad loves it. My brother-in-law loves it, too. I, for, I forgot to ask, Ethan, um, do you have music out anywhere? And if so, where, where can they see no, it? No, I, I don't have any. I'm, that's that's my goal, I guess, for the this year. I've, I've never recorded anything. I don't consider myself to be a singer in any way, shape. There are some... Jamie's a singer. There's some great singers in Nashville, but I do not consider myself to be a singer, but... I would respectfully well, disagree. Yeah, I disagree too, well, my brother. Y'all agree with me and Joe, right? Well. Okay. But I, I'm, my goal for this year is to put out some stuff, if nothing else, just for, I guess, family or whoever wants to listen to it. But Y'all would buy it, uh, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, uh, that's that's the goal. I, I wanted to spend a couple years just writing a bunch and getting a bunch of songs and Go from there. So, so if they want to hear you, they got to come see you play somewhere, huh? Yeah, for All right, right now. There you go. 
release date to be determined. Well, Mr. Greg over here was kind enough to uh, give me and Ethan a place to stay last night. Yeah. And uh, Thank you. we really appreciate that. Him and Jack put us up in a really nice place by the lake. If y'all if y'all need anywhere to stay, Greg's got an extra room <laughs> and a couch because we ain't going to be there tonight. We will be coming back soon, so y'all can't stay. Y'all can borrow the couch, but uh, real nice place. Nice dog. Jack is super cool. And uh, Greg just asked me to play a song that I wrote for my dog. And uh, it's a little easier for me to talk about it now, but uh, I, had, uh, I was writing with a friend of mine a couple years ago. And uh, my dog at the time, it had a little, he had a little ear thing going on. He had a little cancer stuff going on. And I was writing with this friend of mine, and I come back from writing with uh, Greg and, and uh, walk through the door, and Karen tells me the vet call and tells us what's going on with the dog. So I just got in the car. I didn't even stay there. I had to leave. So I drove to uh, Publix in Lebanon. And as I said in the parking lot, this song, truthfully, it was just, you don't, you don't get it much where one just falls out of the sky. And this truthfully fell out of the sky to me, and I couldn't mess it up. Because I don't play it that much, but uh, Greg asked for it, and I'm obliged to Greg. Greg's a good guy, and I appreciate you, my brother. But uh, this is called uh, Without You in It. I was together without happy. Alone without the hurt, the worse without the better, the love without the work. I was midnight without a morning, last times without warning. I was a loss always bigger than the gain. When ends become beginnings and tomorrow's another day. When time has its way with all we have What's it really worth This world I'm living in Without you in it What's a beat without a heart was a spark without a flame, a big without a little, a bell without a ring. What's a road without a town? Why does old have to mean broke down? What the hell's it mean without a year? When ends become beginnings, oh, and tomorrow's another day. And time has its way with all we have. What's it really worth? This world I'm living in without you. What's a beat without a heart? spark without a flame, a big without a little, a bell, a bell without a ring. Yeah. Sorry about that. Man, that's good stuff. I know I wouldn't be able to get through something like that. I'm gonna do this one. There's a uh, anybody familiar with Paul Harvey? That everybody? Paul Harvey's incredible. There's an old Paul Harvey speech from the uh, '80s, I believe, called "God Made a Farmer," and I've just always thought that was such a powerful speech, and. Um, I just thought it would be a cool concept for a song. 
And uh, I can't listen to it without getting chill bumps. I just love it. And uh, so anyway, I held on to that for a while, and I got together with my buddy Timothy Baker and, and told it to him, and he was gracious enough to ride it with me. And this is just probably the favorite song that I've, to, between the two of us, that I think we've, that, or at least my favorite that we've written. And uh, I, my mom's side of the family were all farmers, so I just, I don't think that they get near the respect or credit that they deserve. You know, we wouldn't be anything without our farmers. And uh, yeah, give them a hand. And so this is a, this is called God Made a Farmer. He looked down from heaven and saw what he made was good. He just needed someone willing to care for it like he would. It was a labor of love, and before the day he was through, he poured his heart and soul and then breathed life into. Someone to build the hay, plow deep and straight, take pride and not cut corners, work a full week's worth by Wednesday, Start again on Thursday morning He couldn't use just any man He needed one whose gentle hands were so much stronger So God made a farmer The kind who lives for serving others Doesn't mind to do without Feeds a growing family, growing the food that's in your mouth. Plants the seeds, sows and reaps, keeps faith through the dust. Next time you pray, thank the good Lord he gave us. Someone to bail the hay, plow deep and straight, take pride and not cut corners. Work a full week's worth by Wednesday. Start again on Thursday morning He couldn't use just any man He needed one whose gentle hands were so much stronger So God made a farmer with a legacy 400 acre farm to leave And a young man who could choose to be anything chose to be someone to build the hay plow deep and straight take pride and not cut corners work a full week's worth by Wednesday start again on Thursday morning he couldn't use just any man he needed one whose gentle hands were so much stronger God made a farmer God bless the farmer Thank y'all Beautiful song Another beautiful song I just want to say for the record um, I usually go out to about three to four songwriter nights a week whether or not I'm playing or just going to watch people. And I think whether if you want to do the artist thing or write for other people, I think you'll be able to have your pick. Well, because I think you're I very talented. It. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I most appreciate definitely. it. <clears throat> so I'm sure most of y'all in here know Angela and Asa. Run a, run a great shop here. The food's great. The, the lemon berry mascarpone is my favorite cake. And I know there's a couple of pieces been saved from me. So if there's anybody else in here wants some, this would be time to get your cake right now and eat it. It's good. And even the chocolate cake. I mean, <laughs> chocolate cake is great, but that lemon berry mascarpone now. But is there any of them apple pies, the fried apple pies? Man, if y'all ain't had one of them, you get that and take it home. And in the morning, you make your coffee and just warm it up just a little bit. Man, they're so good. But Miss Angela come up here and handed me a note while I go and uh
Some of y'all may know I, I like doing spoken word. Some of y'all may not. Y'all might not even know what that is. It's not really like uh, singing or playing guitar or anything. It's just spoken word. And uh, Mr. Jason Grove, that he's been up here a couple times and sang for us. He was here uh, just here recently. But uh, he's bone country. He's 90s country, strict. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's 90s country. And I'll probably stretch back a little bit further. I dip on back into the 80s and the 70s and the 60s, I believe, just because of the Merle influence and the Hank that I grew up on, whatnot. But uh, Jason sends this this spoken word to me recently. Well, it's probably been a couple months, and I've, I've stewed on it, and I've messed with it, and I've worked my way through it. And I'll probably have three words in this whole thing. This is a Jason Grove written spoken word. He didn't have a title but I call it the country music biz. I just keep writing these songs, writing my wrongs, trying to find out just where I belong in a world that has long since passed me by. Now, I could probably give in, but then again, I wouldn't even know just where to begin to fit into this modern-day world of not even close to the music that Merle or the old country ghost have laid out before us. The lyrics and rhymes, the verses, the chorus, it's not complicated. It's too overrated. This music they forced on our radio plate is just way too late for the old stuff to save. So we just got to let it pass by, some would say. But I say, oh, no. Never let go of the fiddle and steel or the five-string banjo. To hell with the Joneses. I still wear the rhinestones and the cowboy boots. It's all in my roots, and I can't let it go. No matter the show or this new way to go, I'm here to the end, whatever that is. Which to me ain't far off with the state of this biz. It's some call music modern day art. I say most of them wouldn't even know where to start. To bring back the sound that so many hold dear, it's not hard to see or know how we got here. Just follow the smoke and the lights and you'll find that way back around 19 and 95, a cowboy finally crossed over the line, came down to Nashville a little ahead of his time, turned the whole thing up like a dime on his head, never looked back, left it for dead. It's not all his fault, though. There's way more to blame for the greed and no talent and the overnight fame that's ruined this town and the music we love, or at least I love. Blame the big money when push came to shove. They ripped out the soul of the guys with the pens. The writers are where all the music begins. With a word, then a line, and a story within. The verses, the chorus that all finally end. And a poem, a song that will last through the years. Bring joy and laughter and sometimes tears. To the eyes and the people that let it sink in. To their hearts and souls that live deep within. Country music biz, y'all. Thank you very much. Jason Grove, y'all shout out to him. Yeah. Jamie's just got the coolest voice. These two have just got the coolest voices while they're talking. <laughs> Made for that kind of stuff. Well, based off earlier, I guess y'all like goofy songs. Are you going to sing the duet? Yeah. Let's do it. This is a, I'm a firm believer that not all songs are meant to change the world. Some are just meant to change your mood. And hopefully that's what this one does. This is a, I had, uh, we wrote this, my buddy Justin Dukes. Uh, it's been a couple years ago. I think it was during COVID. And uh, they had found out that Jenny Seeley was cutting a duet record with somebody I knew. And uh, so we wrote this song with intentions of getting it to her. Uh, we we couldn't think of any ideas. We drove Chick Fil A and was trying to think of stuff. And as we were sitting somewhere between Chick Fil A and the house, I come up with this title. You know, couples like to art. We we wanted something in the same vein of "You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly" by Conway Twitty and Loretta Thank Lynn. You, brother. And uh, somewhere between Chick Fil A and the house, I come up with this. And couples like to argue. You know, kids have bad traits and. They like to put the bad trait on the their significant others, inheriting it from them. And so this is called "They Get That from You." This is a, 
And this song never made it any further than from home to Chick-fil-A. That album never happened, but I, I enjoy playing it. It's something different, but it, like I say, this is a duet song, and I don't have anybody to sing the girl part. <laughs> you want to sing it? Me, me, me. No, I don't. <laughs> I can't, I can't afford to hire a girl to ride around with me to sing one song. I can't sing as high as you do. <laughs> so, I'm going to sing both parts. So, when the girl's part comes around, just close your eyes and picture a big, beautiful woman sitting up here for just a second. And, uh, but this is called They Get That From You. All right. All right, close your eyes. Here she comes. Well, those freckles on her cheek and that gap between his teeth, the way they always wake up in a mood. She stays up late at night. He always wants to fight. We both know they get that from you. Oh, you won't play this game, D. All right, then. She likes to run her smart mouth. He won't take the garbage out. And they spend all my money on crap that they won't use. She's picky about where she eats. He's always aggravating the fool out of me. We both know that they get that from you. I take the credit for their straight education. For the yes ma'am, no sir, down on Christian reason. But their hard-headed, stubborn attitude. We both know they get that from you. Oh, you think so? Well, oh, I know so, and we're just getting started. She's got more shoes and feet. He flirts with every girl he sees. The way they act, like they hung the moon. Well, who taught her how to lie? Well, where'd he learn to roll those eyes? Well, we both know that they get that junk from you. I'll take the credit for their straight education. For the yes ma'am, no sir, down on Christian raising. But their hard-headed, stubborn attitude We both know they get that from you You got it Guitar solo, all right Do that again, that was cool Been practicing that I'll take the credit for their straight education For the yes ma'am, no sir, down on Christian raising but their hard-headed, stubborn attitude <laughs> We both know they get that from you We both know They get that from you She's always got to have the last word Oh, man <laughs> Man, I love that <laughs> It was around before Jesus It's made of amber waves of grain It's brewed a hundred different ways And you know it by a four-letter name Gives the ice-cold courage of a hundred grown men Makes that little bitty feller in the corner Of a stand about six foot ten Yeah, beer You can buy it in a can or a keg or a bottle Beer You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel Comes by sixes, twelves, twenty-fours You can drink them by ones and twos and one more Beer you can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl beer. It's a drink, drink, drunk kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a cool one in a cooler where I come from. Beer. It feels good in my hand when I get it out to ice bar. It sounds cute like a kiss from a pretty little girl When the top pops, yeah, beer You can buy it in a can or a keg or a bottle Beer 
You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel. Calls by sixes, twelves, twenty fours. You can drink them by ones and twos and one more beer. You can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl beer. It's a drink, drink, drunk kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a coin in a cooler where I come from, beer. Full of folks and to a room full of friends. Yeah, all you gotta do is, Lord, you take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Beer. You can buy it in a can or keg or bottle. Beer. You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel. Comes by sixes, twelves, twenty-fours. You can drink them by ones and twos and one more. Yeah, beer. You can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl. Beer. It's a drink, drink, drunk kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a cool one in a cooler where I come from. Beer. Beer, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go grab. Uh, you gonna go get go a grab beer? one of those? Yeah. Hey, you want yes, one? It's about that time, y'all. Make your last request for the beer. The bartender, I think he's 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 calling the shots. He's going to get the beer, so he wants a beer. Anybody want a beer? Anybody need a beer? Last call. So, Ethan, what you gonna sing for us, man? Can I do a cover yeah, if you want to. I wasn't going to, but I just, for some reason, just got the urge to. I'm going to play a song I didn't write, but I wish that I wrote. <laughs> this is all, supposed to be all original music. I'm kind of... I can play original one, either one. Which one do you think? Do us whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to... This is this is just kind of something that helped shape my song writing, I guess, or just shape me musically. Uh, I grew up, I'm a big fan of country music and bluegrass and gospel and all that and somewhere along the way I discovered my mom and dad's old records of a lot of singer songwriters like uh, Jim Croce and Dan Fogelberg and all those guys and one of my favorites above all is James Taylor I love James Taylor and uh, I just I've seen him three times I saw him again in Knoxville a couple nights ago and if you ever want to see a guy as big as me act like a 10 year old girl at a Jonas Brothers concert that's a perfect place because I fangirl hard. But um, this is one of the first songs that I ever learned how to play on the guitar. And I used to sit on the edge of my bed and try to figure out what he was doing. And I still don't know exactly what he was doing, but this is my best shot at it. Yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. I just can't remember who to send it to. I've seen fire and I've seen seen sunny days that I thought would never end seen lonely times when I could not find a friend but I always thought that I'd see you again won't you look down on me Jesus you gotta help me to make a stand just got to see me through another day My body's aching And my time is at hand and I won't make it any other way But 
Oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. Seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see. time, my back turned toward the sun, Lord knows when a cold wind blows it'll turn your head around, now there's hours of time on the telephone line, talking about things to come, sweet dreams and flying machines, pieces on the ground, but oh, I've seen fire, I've seen rain. Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. Seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you again. James Taylor. I say Ethan Phillips. <laughs> I'm going to play y'all. Oh. I'm not, I never have played any of his, but I do like his music. So my next tune, I'm going to do, uh, I've done, done a few times here. wrote this for Mr. Jason Grove, but we're going to record it this year. It's going to go on my little CD I'm going to try to get done. But uh, me and him wrote this about all the country greats. I guess it's good for me to just follow it with the spoken word. But all the country great, greats like Murrow and, and Waylon and all them that's kind of already going on, Patsy and George. And it's, uh, it's to me, and I guess Jason too, it was, it was a nice thought to think that uh, they're just all in heaven waiting for us to get there. I don't, you know, I, I don't see no reason why they had to go anywhere bad. <laughs> You know, George was a George was a, a rounder, I'm sure, as Waylon was too, and myself. But uh, I think everybody found their way in the end, probably. But uh, this is called "Sounds Like Heaven." I bid haggards up there whistling on a freight train. That old Cadillac and Hank got back in session. Gas is probably stomping out the footlights. That's one way that I can picture heaven. It seems like today everybody raves about the music. Seeing pop songs passed off as down home belong. Well, I'm sure that all their hearts are in the right place But I sure do miss those good old country songs I bet Conway's up there singing Hello, darling John says, step right up, come on in Waylon's probably rambling like the old days on oh, paycheck, singing about an old vow. It went dead, there it is. Oh, it's still alive despite its disposition. There. 
good old country music that we love so well. Some might say country's gone on to hell. Mm, to me it sounds like heaven. Sounds like heaven. Charlie's fiddle scared the hell out of the devil. We got him driving Diffy around as a pickup man. And Patsy got her closer walk with Jesus. And there's yesterdays with wine and George again. And I bet Conway's up there singing, Hello, darling. John said, Step right up, come on in. Wayland's probably rambling like the old days. Art and paycheck singing about an old violin. Mm, yes. Still alive despite its disposition. All that good old country music that I love so well. Some might say country's gone on to hell. Me, it sounds like heaven. Sounds like heaven. Well, the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting. And the sky, Lord, in the sky. And I bid haggards up there whistling on a freight train. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a beautiful song. I really hope you do put that on your, on your album. It's going to be on there. Good. And you're all over the socials. I've seen you on Instagram. I've seen you on the TikTok. I've seen you on the Facebook. So you too. You follow Jamie Adamson anywhere. I'm on all of them, man. <laughs> yeah, Henry's all over the YouTube, man. If y'all know me, you'll know Henry at some point. Henry's popular where we live. He's a little... 28 pound, 30 pound French bulldog. He's got a couple girlfriends. It's about three times, four times his size. He's a little ladies' man. <laughs> no. He don't, it's like my grandpa. He don't call nothing. All women need love as far as Henry's concerned. <laughs> All of them need love as far as he's concerned. Try this one. I just want to say I appreciate y'all being such a great audience tonight. Y'all been incredible. Y'all give yourself a round of applause. Y'all been awesome. There's not too many places you can go and play just two hours of songs that nobody's ever heard and they don't want to listen to it. So thank you. Yes, yes. Well, this is a, I'm going to make sure that I play this one. I, this is one of my favorite songs that I've been fortunate enough to be a part of since I've been in town. I wrote this with my dear friend Erica Lotza, and uh, she um, she had this idea. She said she'd had it for two years and nobody would write it with her. And as soon as she just told, she didn't tell me anything but the title, and I was just in love with it. And uh, I begged her to let it let her write it or let me write it with her, and uh, she was gracious enough to let me do it. You know. I, I'm I'm not a big songwriter by any means, and, and but if something ever was to come along, and uh, opportunities arose, you know, if I made some money, that's great. And if but if nothing else ever happens, just the pure enjoyment of somebody relating to a song means more to me than anything. If one song helps one person or just connects with them in some way, makes them laugh or something, it, it just means the world. And uh, 
So um, this is just kind of how I feel about songwriting, wrapped up in about three minutes. And uh, more than anything, too, I just want to honor God and everything that I write. And uh, this just kind of says exactly how I feel about everything. This is, a, this is called The Writer. I hope you all enjoy it. No more than a few chords strung together for three minutes But it tells a lot of truth, has a whole lot of mine in it There's parts of me wrapped up in each one liner Cause you give it all when you're the writer One day it might be worth a little jingle in my pocket But even if it ain't, and the only thing I profit Is watching y'all hang on to these words a little tighter Sure feels rich to be the writer Well I'm just passing on what I've learned and what I've seen Giving voices to the feelings That don't get a chance to speak Funny how my no one understands It's what you're going through Started with a pen and piece of life And found its way to you If you're the only one it ever helps inspire Then it's worth it all to be the writer I always try to give the credit where I know it's due I truly don't deserve the praise Cause to tell y'all the truth These songs come from someone so much higher I just hold the pen And he's the writer Well I'm just passing on What I've learned and what I've seen Giving voices to the feelings that don't get a chance to speak. Funny how my no one understands it's what you're going through. Started with a pen and piece of life and found its way to you. If you're the only one it ever helps inspire, then it's worth it all to be the right. I've sure been blessed to be the writer. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on Ethan here for a minute. And uh we're gonna we're gonna tomorrow, whatever you wanna do in this, whatever you wanna do right here. Um tomorrow's Sunday. I like to end I like to end grounding around here with a little uh Sunday morning service as best I can. Usually it's just one, but we might do two for y'all tonight. So I'm gonna let Mr. Ethan here do a little gospel song for y'all. Okay. Well, once again, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all to Grindhouse. This is this is just a phenomenal place, isn't it? This is such a cool building. Special. Such a cool room. I, I appreciate them. Thank you to Jamie for having me. It's always a pleasure. This has been such a thrill to get to play here tonight. I've, I've sure enjoyed it. I'm going to leave y'all with this one, I think. We're doing a gospel song. This is probably my favorite gospel song. Um, you know, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world nowadays and it just seems like 
people are looking for hope in any way they can and looking for it in places that you're not necessarily going to find hope. And uh, if you're on the fence tonight about it, I can promise you that you'll find it in no other place than Jesus. You know, there's a lot of false hopes out there, but uh, this is... um, this has always been one of my favorites, and it just means an awful lot to me. And once again, thank y'all, and God bless y'all. I hope y'all have a safe trip home, and hope to see you again down the road. Well, God sent His Son. They called Him Jesus. Thank y'all so much. Man, I thank all y'all for coming. I want to I let uh, Joe say a word before we close out here. If you got anything to say, my brother, I appreciate you. I'm going to do one more tune here before we split. So I just want to say this was a really fantastic experience for me coming here for the first time, and we really hope that you guys come back and join us for the next one. So yeah, thank next, you. Yeah, end of the month, next month, we got a, I think it's ladies' night. I gotta look at it. I think it's yes, uh, Nashville ladies. It's just uh, I'm gonna be up here with three women. It's gonna be interesting, but uh, it'll it'll be good. That's Megan Barker, uh, Sarah Faith, and uh, Emily Stevens. So it's gonna be a good one. Yes, it will be good. 
But I, I appreciate all y'all coming. I know some of y'all come monthly, and I really appreciate that. I hope all y'all come back, too. Cause, uh, and come back tomorrow. Man, they got, they got the greatest breakfast. No, tomorrow, Monday. Monday. Okay. Sometimes I don't know what day it is. I apologize, y'all. I really do apologize. But you can we come had, tomorrow, but nobody will be here. Yeah, nobody will be here. Y'all can wait at the door, though. I mean, okay, baby shower. But uh, I got a hair in my eye, I think, or something. But uh, so what I was fishing to say, I don't remember. But I thank everybody for coming. I hope y'all come back. And uh, go check out Ethan on social media. Check out Joe Bazzelli, B-I-Z-E-L-L-I. Italiano, you know what I'm saying? I'm more Irish. So, uh, <laughs> precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm and through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead me home. When my way grows drift, Precious Lord, linger near. When my life, oh, it's almost gone. Hear my cry, hear my call. Hold my hand, lest I fall. Precious Lord. Take my hand and lead me home. Man, God bless y'all. Have a great night. Come back to see us. Thank y'all very much for hanging out with us tonight. Peace.